Hello, I am Reyna, the witch of what the f***, and this is my sidekick, uh, aka husband, John. Hello. It was just Valentine's Day, and for Valentine's Day, John wanted to make brunes out of resin, and I drink a lot of coffee, so here's the happy marriage. Coffee, resin, glitter, brunes. Stay tuned. Here we have our resin. It's amazing clear cast parts A and B. Your guess is as good as mine, which is which, so we just poured them into this thing in equal measure. Here is a silicone mold for making the elder Futhark runes. I think I'm saying that right. Don't hold me to it. Ah, coffee grounds. Yes, the secret ingredient. This is literally just, oh, ignore those. We're not even using them. Ah, yes, copper glitter and gunmetal glitter. These molds hold a total volume of two thirds of a cup. So to account for the space taken up by the coffee grounds, we are only using a half a cup of resin in the plastic cup we're using for mixing. Oh, back to the coffee. So this is a little over two, uh, actually four tablespoons of grounds, four heaping tablespoons. I'm an addict. They're used. I let them dry. I actually baked them in the oven until they were perfectly dry. You don't want any water. It'll screw up your resin. So I have perfectly, perfectly dried coffee beans. I mean grounds. Oh, whatever. Adding gunmetal glitter, adding some coffee glitter. Did I say coffee? I think I need coffee. I'm falling asleep. Damn, it's like eight o'clock at night. Copper glitter. And then just add it indiscriminately because that's how you add glitter. Indiscriminately and without regret. Well, lots of regret, but we're not going to talk about that right now. What do you think? I think it's good. Want a little more gunmetal in there? No, I think that's good. Yeah? Okay. That one that's out of place is blank, so you don't need to worry about that one first. Does a blank rune mean that you have no future? I have no idea. But if there's leftover, fill it. But if not, it's okay. And basically, we can like sand them down once they pop up, right? We can. There probably won't be too much rough because the, the coffee will sink. Uh -huh. Do we want like one? Well, I'll check this corner here. Yeah, it looks enough? pretty filled to me. Okay. Do you have enough for the blank? Maybe. Oh yeah. Good morning. I'm definitely not a morning person. Got a cup of coffee here. Um waiting to de bitch, as my father always puts it. Runs in the family apparently. Resin's a multi-day project, and I figured since I made my resin out of coffee, I would come to a cup of coffee in hand. That's a true story, I can attest. Anyway, if you like cat videos, and you feel like cat videos and cats doing hilarious stuff on film is the reason the entire internet was invented in the first place, watch through the end of the video. My uh, little pal Jack makes quite the appearance. While you're at it, please like and subscribe, hit that bell, it keeps me going. Much like coffee keeps me going. You know, normally I'm pretty internally validated and internally motivated, but man, coffee and likes and subscribes, man. They're where it's at. All right, I'm gonna stare off into space for a while and then get ready for work. Then I'll do some more resin. See ya. Stay tuned. Baby. Okay. Do you want to do just this one first? Yeah, just to make sure. It's pretty done here. Mm -hmm. Just 
Does it feel done? I mean, it feels done. It doesn't feel too hecky at all. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, very cool. Then we just paint, have you paint with a very thin brush mm -hmm. right in there. Yep, and then wipe off any excess because mm -hmm. it's resin and it's stick, and we'll just have to cut those edges off. They're coming right off, actually. Nice. Just polish it, basically. Mm -hmm. Of glitter. Uh huh. Because they're not like obnoxious. No. They have a nice mystical shine to them. The coffee is a nice color, too. It is. Could you, like, put... So you can't paint it, it won't stick to the resin. It'll stick into the little thing, into the indentation. Okay. And then it would wipe off the excess, and then you can put a little bit of UV resin That's what I was going to be thinking. Well, there you go. Aren't they pretty? They're all shiny and sparkly, and the glitter just kind of shines through the coffee. And the coffee made them basically opaque, black, it's really hard to tell that the resin is clear because of the coffee. We've got a few rough edges to peel off here. That's easily done. It's like that color? Yeah, like that. Let's see if it turns out on wall. Was that you or the cat? Mm -hmm. The cat's down there. But... Maybe that color? I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I will do. It's still red, but it's not like... Yeah, it's not drab. It's not a gross red that's going to detract from kind of like the colors that we've got going in the rooms themselves. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, and see just how it wipes right off the top. Mm -hmm. Cool. Do you like that color? Yeah, I think that's good. Anything else? Not really at the moment. I mean, you can be on wiping duty if you want. Oh, that might be a little too wet. I think that just the nature of resin in the paint, it should just like wipe off. Well, you don't want to dry entirely. It's staying in the crevices where it should be. Mm -hmm. Because I can always go put a second coat of paint in. Mm -hmm. So basically, I mean, I can just paint one, hand it to you, you can wipe it. I mean, I know that sounds super exciting, but... I'm happy to help. Yeah, you just see how I'm doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am using Arteza paint in Bordeaux Red and Pevio Acrylics. It is an iridescent copper. Mixing them together and using a fine brush to paint in the indentation of the moon. I put two coats of paint on each one. There's a lot of waiting when doing resin projects. It's not for those who wish to be immediately gratified, but the gratification payout is pretty decent. It's kind of like coffee. It takes a while to kick in, but once it does, you feel like you can rule the world. Well, depending on how big your world is. I mean, if I'm doing fairly decent on a day, I'd say my world is eh, 50 square feet. I'm doing okay there, I think. Maybe? Ugh. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. Sorry, not a morning person. Runes get rough handled and tossed around, so I decided it would be a good thing to seal the paint, and for that I'm using some UV resin. This tool is a small silicone pointy thing. It's very flexy and very bendable, but it worked to just kind of act like a pen would, and I use it to dot very small amounts of the UV resin in and just smooth it through the indentation. It doesn't take a whole lot, 
in fact very little and the nice thing about UV resin is it doesn't set unless you have UV light on it so I don't have to worry about how long it's going to take me. This did take me a little bit of time just to do the detail work, probably 20 minutes all in all to do all of the rooms. This itty bitty detail work between painting and then sealing the paint was actually the majority of the time spent making these. Pouring them, mixing the resin initially, that's all quick. This is the nitty gritty. However, now that the paint is sealed, they should last a lot longer. Well, I should say the paint should last a lot longer. I don't think anything can pare down resin. Hell, it might outlive tardigrades and alligators. Ugh, maybe even cockroaches. Gross. What if cockroaches eat coffee resin in a weird parallel universe? Isn't that a freaky thought? Cockroaches eating resin runes made of coffee. Ooh, cockroaches on coffee. Oh, I really need to sleep. Insomnia? Not good. Would not recommend. Zero out of ten. No stars. I divided the runes into two batches. I put each one into the UV lamp for two minutes. Then I just sanded off some of the rough edges on the bottom. John can do some detail sanding if he wants. And voila, castable runes. How cool is that? doing weird shit. You blessing, are you blessing us? You're gonna jump up here. <laughs> All right, John, tell us about the runes. Okay, so as the cat ruins, <laughs> ruins my, my, ruins my casting. The runes. Um, so what I did was I, I did a three three ruins <laughs> and <laughs> thanks buddy you're so you're so helpful. I did a three ruins spread and a three ruins spread is very much like a three card spread in tarot. The uh, first rune represents the past, the uh, last rune represents the future, and just like tarot, and I'm sure Reina has mentioned this in previous videos or in talking with you if you've talked with her, it's not future telling, it's not fortune telling. It's, it's looking at the question you asked and interpreting and trying to figure out the energies that you are having at the time. So as I cast these, I was thinking about, I'm a very, very social person, and I asked the question, will being social get back to some sort of normal soon? I got these three runes. The first one is birch. Birch is basically after the tree, and it means new beginnings and growth. So that is the place that we're coming from. The second moon day means the balance between all things. And it's about the energy of trying to put that balance into place. So as we're coming from new beginnings, it's finding the balance between what was and what is and trying to create that energy to make something new. And then the last was gift, which is the honor and the celebration between exchanging gifts. So it, it's really a very positive thing. I think this whole casting was very, very positive in that things, if you work towards a balance with the place that we've come from, that we can work towards a place of celebration. So that was my three ruin casting, our, our brand new set of ruins. I'm a tarot reader. This is my first time reading runes ever. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> I uh <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to cast or not. I, I I almost think you have to with he's blessing your your oh um, your white mat there. Well, uh how about right here on the couch? Sure. It's white. Yeah, sure. All right. So, Jack. 
The runes I cast were Creator, means success in one's actions. Yellow, or the sun, illuminating the darkness. And Elk, for protection. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. <laughs>